let's look at, let's jump now to the middle of the 24 movements. Let's start with cloud hands. Then we work further, then we come back into the beginning, right? So cloud hands is a good example of WSS. Pull because we have to use our whole body to make our flow, to make it soft, to make it smooth. So what is it? It's, of course, the whole body. The torso turns up to 3 o'clock. It looks at 12 o'clock. It looks at 9 o'clock. Do you see then? This is not what I want. This is too stiff. I am not using my flow and I'm not using my softness. Neither am I looking at my smoothness. I want to start here to flow and my float like clouds. I want to be able to concentrate. I want to be able to create a soft flow rather than something stiff. So let's go, let's learn how to do that. All right, look out, look it up. So we know that when we use our whole body, that means our torso, if you can put your hands at your waist, has to move in this direction. But if we move in this direction, our upper body, including our neck and eyes and face, have to move in this direction. If we move to the middle, our face then is at 12 o'clock. If we close and we have to look and um, flip and close, we have to look at 9 o'clock. When we come back to cup in the middle, we're at 12 o'clock. But when we open, we have to go back to 2 and 3 o'clock. But at the same time that our upper body is being used and aligned, our feet and legs are also, including our toes, going down only on the toes, Cert then slowly putting it down flat, lifting it up, turning our head because we're now going to open in the middle because we're almost halfway down, lifting up because we're going to open, middle because we're then the uh, equal, equally weighted, turning our head because we're going to open, shifting our weight because we're in the middle or top, shifting our weight and opening, we're at 3 o'clock, we're at 12 o'clock, we're at 1 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock, we're in the middle, okay, so you get, you get the idea. Put all those three elements, W, O, 
S smooth, S soft, and guess what? Your actions will then surely look like clouds. But not only that, outwardly somebody will see it and say, hey, is that movement like you're sort of doing clouds? And of course it is. But the highest benefit is that you will feel a sense of floating, a sense of smoothness from within. Look at the back hand, soften it, hook it, step out. Now, just in doing single hip, we softened the movement. We did it like this. Okay, watch. We said, look at your back hand, watch first, come out, step out, soften. Do you see how I softened it? I said, look at the back hand, look it, come closer to your face, out. I followed my foot and my heel. I stretched out my back knee. I softened it. I didn't just go and push like this. It was soft because I was ending cloud motions and I followed and I put my foot in sync with my hand or vice versa. And I softened it by bending my elbow and not clenching my fist, because then that would be hard, I would soft. So all of that sensation starting from this way or this way was all the same. Nothing was hard about it. When I took my step out, did I go boink? That's too hard. So you're going to make sure that everything is soft, slow, if you said, oh, I get it, it's so easy to go soft. But did you just pop it down? If you pop it down, you're not getting, you're not getting every little muscle in your foot a chance to come down in a whole way, stretching out. So proper posture, stretching out, a key posture. You could never do everything and then just kept it this way. Because this knee is still not straight. It has to come out. You didn't try to finish it. So that's part of focus. That's part of whole body. That's part of smoothness, softness. So all those elements have to be in play. So do I make my point clear? All right.